is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about a company that has actually filed for bankruptcy but has got some major backing with some lenders and it's going to be for a massive amount of money. And the company I'm talking about is going to be Hertz. That's right. And if you're interested in Hertz and the steps they're taking to get out of bankruptcy and on top of that, the steps that they're taking to obviously provide rental vehicles to people and really where the direction is heading, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. We start talking about rental vehicles and the future of this company i ask that you guys smash that subscribe button smash that like button comment down below and now it's time to talk about rental vehicles in the video i can honestly say in my lifetime we have experienced probably the worst pandemic we are going to experience probably ever at least in my lifetime and a lot of you will probably agree and i think where i'm going with this is obviously we understand the major, major impact the obviously the coronavirus has had on the world economy. I mean, it really has. It has shut down things for months and months and months. And when you start to look at it big picture and start to think about the companies that truly have been impacted, it's actually mind blowing. And Hertz is going to be one of those. And when you really start to put it into perspective, it makes sense. So obviously let's kind of rewind back to February when the coronavirus initially started to outbreak, people were halted from travel. People obviously couldn't travel for work. There was no really, there was more stay at home orders. And really the only travel you could do was basically to like local grocery stores and obviously things like that, you know, restaurants, drive throughs But for the most part, everything was shut down and halted. And there were a lot of stay at home orders and some of those are still actually in place. So when you start talking about travel, when you go on vacation, there's a good chance that when you get to your vacation site, you're gonna use a rental vehicle. You're gonna get a rental vehicle from an airport or wherever you get it from, and Hertz may have been one of those options. Now, if you travel for work, you travel for business, and you travel to the airport, there's a good chance that you're gonna potentially get a rental vehicle, and if you do, there was always that option that Hertz could have been that option. Now, when all of this was halted, obviously it had such a massive impact on Hertz that they ended up having to file bankruptcy. And I'm gonna talk about that. I think, you know, it's an, an important factor and it really plays a role in kind of where we're sitting at in the world. Um, and so one of the things I wanna hit on the most is the direction, because obviously there are, is a major backing now for Hertz and as we're starting to creep out of the coronavirus and lockdowns and things like that this company may have something back you know moving forward I'm gonna talk about where this company is headed in the future where I personally see they could honestly capitalize in the future and really just kind of talk about you know the loan that is gonna help get them out of bankruptcy or at least you know support them coming from bankruptcy and things like that so I really just want to provide you information on this company since a ton of volume was in on this company on Friday and it bled over into Monday. I mean, there was a ton of volume and a lot of activity. So let's talk about that. Hertz Global Holdings Inc. has arranged a new 1.65 billion financing package to help it reorganize while in bankruptcy. Shares more than doubled after the plan was announced. If the bankruptcy loan wins court approval, a group of, of the company's first lien lenders will provide the money at an initial interest rate of 7.25 percentage points above the London Interbank offered rate, the car rental giant said Friday. The group will also collect an undisclosed amount of fees. Lenders who signed a letter committing to fund the loan include Apollo Global Management, Diameter Capital Partners, and Silver Point Capital, according to court documents. Hertz stock soared as much as 178% Friday morning in New York to trade at two point, excuse me, two dollars and eighty-six cents. One of the major things I want you to remember is Apollo Global was a part of a merging SPAC that was going into electrical vehicles. 
keep that in mind because that's going to be a major part of what I'm talking about when we're moving forward with rental vehicles. So continuing on, it says as much as 1 billion of the debt can be used for vehicle acquisition in the United States and Canada, while up to 800 million can be used for working capital and general corporate purposes, Hertz said in a statement. So basically get this thing rolling again. The proposed loan is a sign that senior lenders are confident in Hertz's ability to reorganize and pay them back. The loan matures at the end of 2021 and has a limited number of restrictions that could cause a default. Hertz said in court papers, under the deal, the company must file a Chapter 11 reorganization plan by August 1st, 2021. Hertz filed for bankruptcy in May, and it was actually May 22nd, when the near total shutdown of the global travel industry caused rentals to drop dramatically. Despite the Chapter 11 filing, which would normally wipe out shareholders, Hertz stock price remained so high that the company tried unsuccessfully to sell shares to fund the case. Bloomberg earlier reported that the car rental company was negotiating with creditors on a potential loan package to get it through the reorganization process. The new financing needs approval from Hertz's bankruptcy judge, and a hearing is set for October 29th, which is right around the corner. So I think all this is actually really pertinent information. And like it said, there's a chance that it may not make it out of here, and you know it may not actually you know win the appeals case or the case that is going to provide this company the money that obviously these you know loan holders are are going to offer them i just think that there is a future if they can find a way to get through the quicksand i mean truly they're in quicksand and it's going down they've already filed for bankruptcy obviously the pandemic has put them in a chokehold and that's just the way it works sometimes i mean the economy is is still kind of doing this and obviously we have you know an election coming up there's just so much that is affecting one the stock market as of right now and then two you're talking about still travel not being at max capacity and you're still talking about people hesitant to go on vacation if they're going on vacation and business is still kind of halted when it talk comes to travel you know a lot of people are still working from home and a lot of people are starting to find out that they are being very successful working from home. So now I'm going to provide you my thoughts as far as what Hertz should do if they were to get the backing, get through bankruptcy court, get the approval, and are able to start functioning again. Obviously, we have to get through the coronavirus. I think that's the biggest piece of information is we have to get through the coronavirus and really understand that down the road, it's still going to have a tremendous impact. But I think as people start to really get back out, we get past the election and people start to become, I guess, normalized again. This is where I would say I see Hertz capitalizing. Now, my thoughts are with the electrical vehicle market absolutely exploding. And we know that the electrical vehicle market is the future in the United States. It's the future across the world. I mean, there are major pushes in Europe and obviously we know what China is doing. So as we start to understand that you are starting to see an electrical vehicle push, I feel Hertz should really start to reach out to the likes of electrical vehicle companies and really maybe start to develop a partnership or get a contract where they can capitalize on those electrical vehicles. What that does is electrical vehicles are obviously built and are gonna be designed for longevity. As you can see, Tesla is in the works of making a battery that will allow you know the vehicle to go up many more miles than what it's currently traveling this the same goes for most electrical vehicle companies and you have a ton of electrical vehicle companies that are coming out in the year 2022 that will be releasing all their vehicles to you know to the public the ones that are obviously coming out and i think that's really where hertz can capitalize on a lot of road trips can start to take place again People can start to use the, you know, the everyday vehicle that is electrical vehicle, and they can use that from the likes of Hertz. Another, I think, aspect that Hertz can capitalize on, which would then generate money, is if they could find a way to really partner or create a charging station of themselves. And so, obviously, when you go to turn in a rental vehicle, a lot of the time they expect the gas to be where it was when, obviously, you took the vehicle out. 
I think what you can capitalize on is the fact that if you have a charging station that is, let's say, Hertz, they can make some money off of that charging station by you utilizing that charging station. Or let's say that you, in your contract, you, you know, you're negotiating to get that vehicle, you went ahead and just paid the said amount of dollars in order to recharge that car on the return. I mean, I think there's a lot of opportunity here especially as we continue to move forward in a greener, you know, emissions free direction. I truly do. And I think Hertz could potentially look, start looking into some other avenues as well. I think if they wanted to, they could almost, you know, rent vehicles to in a way an Uber type thing where if I wanted to personally go deliver food and let's say I wanted to do Postmates, I wanted to do Uber Eats, I wanted to do whatever that may be. I can go rent a vehicle from the likes of Hertz and what I can do with that is then go drive and do my task, do my job, return the vehicle in a manner at which, you know, it's acceptable, go home and I'm not putting all the miles on my personal vehicle. I think that's a big aspect too is, you know, putting all these miles and, and really using your own stuff in order to complete the task. If you could find a way to partner or use a vehicle that said Hertz provides, I think that would be massive. And I think that they there could be a lot of contract negotiations and things could be worked out in that manner. These are just some thoughts that I've had. I've honestly been thinking, especially with this company, you know, being in bankruptcy and seeing the amount of volume this stock had on Friday and truly how much it actually even had going into Monday. I mean, that was absolutely amazing. We're definitely going to go over the chart, but it was definitely mind blowing for sure. Now we have come to my favorite part of any video. And of course, that's chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check out this rental company. Hertz Global Holdings. Today it opened at $2.32. It got as high as $2.33, as low as $1.79. Its volume was $116.2 million. Market cap is currently $287.4 million. 52 week high is $20.85, its 52 week low is 40 cents, and its average volume is 31.77 million. So we are looking at, we'll go ahead and look at a one month chart. Uh, today it closed at $1.84, that was down 15.21%. As you can see, we are coming back to what would be reality. And then in the after hours, it continued down even further, wrapping out the day at $1.80, and that was down an additional 2.17%. So as you can see on this one month chart, basically you're looking at a downward trend until obviously Friday where we got the news of the backing of the 1.65 billion lifeline, and that's what caused this absolute amazing spike. But like I said, as you can see, we are coming back to reality and truly that does make sense because they are going through bankruptcy court i don't really need to hit on too much more of that aspect and until that really gets resolved a lot of this doesn't matter hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you understand at least the direction where i see hertz going if they were to make it through bankruptcy and really that's just kind of my thoughts and my opinions i do want to thank you guys for swinging by i really do i appreciate Every subscription I get, every like I get, it means a ton. I do wanna remind you guys though, I am not a financial advisor, and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only, and that's exactly what I'm here to do, entertain. So hopefully, you got some entertainment. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, cause I'm gonna keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.